Welcome back. We continue our KX conversation tonight with Mark Landis. He is the Burley County Veteran Service Officer. Mark, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, as we get closer to Memorial Day, we get that heightened sense of appreciation for our veterans. At the same time, out of the roughly 5,600 here in Burley County, about 5% live in poverty. So how is that being addressed? I, I checked this morning on the uh, homeless veterans in the area. Um, approximately 40 to 50 are homeless in the Bismarck area. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, what we do, uh, we'll refer them to the proper resources. The VA does provide housing vouchers, long-term housing vouchers, and right now about 30 to 40 are uh, housed in a more permanent situation because of that. Uh, there's also the, uh, uh, the homeless shelter, the United Way homeless shelter will make referrals over there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we do have homeless coordinators uh, in the area that work for the VA. I don't work for the VA, I work for the county, but we'll make those referrals okay. and get them in touch with the community resources or possibly even to the VA in Fargo. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised by the number of veterans that either don't know the kind of help they can receive or maybe the first time veterans that come to you? Sometimes it is surprising. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we think we're pretty well known, but that's not necessarily the case all the time. Uh, occasionally we do get veterans to come in and say, we didn't know you were here. And so we try to help them to understand and navigate the system of benefits that are available to them. We try and get them into the healthcare system for the VA. And most of the time we're able to do that and get them to qualify uh, to be in the healthcare system. If they have injuries or medical issues that arose during military service, we'll assist them with service-connected disability claims. We'll also assist uh, surviving spouses and children, as the case may be, for their benefits and for, of course, burial benefits for veterans. Yeah, and you transition perfectly because a lot of people, I don't think, necessarily realize their spouses can get help. So what sort of help is available for a military spouse? Well, for a, a spouse of a veteran, it will depend a lot on the veteran's situation. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, the veteran had a service-connected disability. And let's just say, again, for the sake of example, it was a heart condition and then uh, the cause of death was this heart condition. Well, that's a service-connected death. Then the spouse applies for a benefit known as Dependency Indemnity Compensation, or DIC, and that's about thirteen or $1,400 a month. Mm -hmm. There are other benefits as well. Uh, there are, there's a pension benefit for spouses of, or surviving spouses, veterans who die not due to service-connected disability, and that can vary. That's based on income, based on financial need. Uh, we also assist them with uh, burial benefits for the, for the veteran. Mark, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it.